Hey, what's up? Ian from Powerhouse Mitches. How you doing? This is a special video today of Spellcrow.com. I've got some uh, conversion parts for Warhammer 40k from Spellcrow. They sent me them out in the post, which is really cool. And uh, I thought I'd do the unboxing now. So I've already had a little look at them. So this uh, box wasn't wasn't me. <laughs> uh, you know, it was already already like that. So I will open them up. Now I've been a fan of these guys for a long time, and they, as we'll see, they produce conversion parts for Warhammer. Mostly for Warhammer 40k and uh, Age of Sigmar, they do some terrain pieces as well. So they sent me some nice cool bits out, and I wanted to say, just talk about a few of them. So, since the last time I bought any Spellcrow stuff, I bought them on eBay from the UK normally, so I've not actually seen this packaging before, which means it might be new. But pretty cool, like the little blister packs so you can uh, hang them up on shelves and things. Now, open this one up, this is the first one. Um, I hope that's not too loud actually on your side, that, that noise. So we got... 10 Rotting Knight's Heads. Let's have a look. Open these bad boys up. Um, so up close, hopefully better see them. Is that focusing? I'm not quite sure actually. But yeah, really, really nice. In fact, I'll get a little bit of paper so you can have a look. That should uh, focus it in. Look at them, really, really cool. So there's the one the second from the left. It's like a skull where the things have fallen to bits. Um, the one on the right has got like uh, horns coming out of it. They're all melted and shit. Like really, really cool. And then the guy in the middle has got like a chaos undivided symbol on his head, like a little eye. Really good. Uh, and then the second one, I believe, is uh, sort of similar. So again, perfect for conversions, it'd be Nurgle, um, but obviously on their website they can't mention that it's for Nurgle. So these two are exactly the same, um, there's two different sets. So that's them. Um, yeah, perfect for, it's 28mm scale, so like I said, they all, they all fit really um, perfectly with uh, 40k. So next from Spellcrow is the Knights of Pleasure, which um, Knights of Pleasure with an N, obviously, sounds a bit dodgy, but it's K-N-I-G-H-T, obviously. So two of them the same. Um, 10 in total in the packet and here's them so super highly detailed again you can see they've got little horns and things this guy's got his tongue out which is cool one of them's got his mouth um, um, uh, stitched up which is kind of gross but cool yeah, like horns and ridges and uh, piercings and things like that but super highly detailed like I was really really impressed with the quality of the castings and things like that um, and it's a lightweight resin it reminds me a little bit well Similar to Forge World Resin, maybe a bit uh, a bit thicker, like a bit heavier. Uh, so that's them. But again, really really cool, and both I think both sets are the same again. Yeah, so both both ones exactly the same, and again perfect for it'll be Slanesh for, for Chaos Forty K or anything really. You know, any other conversions. Now the next ones, these two are both of the same bit. So let's have a look at them. Um, Knights have changed legs. And then knights have changed torsos. So we've got six legs and ten torsos. We'll just have a quick look. I hope these boxes aren't too loud at the same time. A little look. Uh, open them up. So I said there's a set of six. Yeah, uh, I believe. Yeah, so it's three different variants and two lots of each one. So there. Really, really cool. Um, underneath, like the armor pattern itself, seems to be consistent with the Mark III, maybe, um, like the, the 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 feet in particular, um, but with more of a, a pointed knee guard as opposed to a circular one on the Mark III. But it's still really cool, and it would definitely fit with all of the uh, Heresy era Forge World stuff. And again, um, cool like cloaks, robes, like really nicely detailed again. Really uh, good for practicing your blending and stuff, but on there, um, the top part where the torsos would attach is just perfect. It's Twenty-eight millimeter, and any they'd fit perfectly with any Warhammer Forty K piece. So really cool. Like I said there's two, uh, there's six pairs of legs, but uh, three variants, so you get two of each one. And then to match these, we got knights to change torsos. So you get 10, and again, um, the packets are really cool, like it's just really lightweight little packets. 
Well, um, uh, airproof seal on them, I think. Reminds me of when you get a whey protein in a packet and it keeps it all together. So, really good. Let's open these up. And again, like I said, there's five variants and you get two lots of each one. So, these ones here. Really cool. Um, the one at the bottom there has got some cool little like, details on it. It's perfect for zinch, basically. That's what he's using for. Um, it's really cool. Cool little um, etching with like gold bits that you do, and then the rest of it would be red. And this top one has got um, like a gem on the little shoulder bit. And again, the head slot, perfect for anything else. And I imagine even if it's not a tiny bit of green stuff, and you'd be laughing. Um, the arm beast pieces are exactly the same. Obviously, it's all 28mm scale, so perfect, absolutely perfect for Warhammer 40k. Um, now, this is the one, right? This is my favourite favorite one they sent me, so I'm going to leave that out. Now, as well, they sent me some terrain pieces, which is really cool. So like, we've got like this centrepiece, um, just there, so we'll open that up. And then, like, trenches. And then we'll open this one as well. And then two corner pieces for the same bit of trench. So, put all these aside, and I'll put the box aside as well now. So, um, we've got a corner piece of the trench, and then these two bits that slot, like, obviously once you remove the flash around the edges, like there's a little bit um, on either side, and then on this one there's just a few little bobbles that want to come off, I can get them off actually. Yeah, a little bit, anyway, you get the idea, a little uh, scalpel and you'll be fine. So they slot together, perfect, which is cool, and then of course the, uh, the slats of the wood, they align really, really well. So you get two of these pieces, um, and this one as well. So if you wanted to, you could create a front-facing piece like that. So I'm trying to do it all <laughs> in my hands like this. There you go. So something along them lines. Or if you wanted to, you could create like a corner piece like that. So again, if you've got two sets of these, you could have a long walkway, um, or you could have this thing like that, or all the way around, that sort of thing. Any of those sort of things, so it's like all modular. And like I said, the, the cool thing about it is when they're together, once you've removed all the flash, and like there's a few, um, you know, bits of crap there from the molding process, this bit's super smooth, so that's obviously the bit they've molded it into. But once, once all they're gone, on either side, in whichever configuration uh, you've got these pieces, um, all the slats of the wood line up, which is really nice. So, really good. Again, perfect for terrain and, and stuff. And they're really cheap, which is what it is. Not in terms of quality, obviously, but just in terms of price. Like, didn't cost very much. So, something like that was really, really good. And obviously, they're not specific to any game system. Just really good for um, any, any sort of terrain piece, really. 40k. Age of Sigmar maybe, or any of the other ones. It is 28 mil scale, obviously, so, um, you know, like Flames of War wouldn't be any good, or uh, Epic 40k, of course. But really good, so, them ones. Again, it's lightweight as well, so it's it's not quite as light as Forge World Resin, um, but then I presume it's not as bristle either, which is a good thing. So we'll leave them there. And then now, the last three bits are my favourite ones, and you'll see why momentarily. So we've got three different pieces. We'll start with these in the bottom. <clears throat> so we got Legion. Uh, I'm just trying to find. I'm going to find out what they're called actually because I've got my computer here. They're little like plumes, uh, which is awesome for the uh, Space Marine Legionary. They call them um, Legion like Space Knights. And it's obviously the Space Marines, you know I mean? They just can't use the word Space Marine, of course. But cool little plumed helmets, so you can have them vertically or horizontally or whatever the word is, like laterally. And we'll open these up so you can get a look, but they're really good. And again, fit perfectly with any sort of 40k, uh, 40k scale. So two two sets of five, they're all the same, obviously. But really good. Um, got the like studded emblems in the front. And... Uh, well, they're the same both sides, aren't they? So, really good. And again, super cheap. 
Um, they're only a few euros for these ones, so that's that's one of the main things. And again, really good quality. It's not quite as light as four zero resin. It's a bit heavier, but it's a bit thicker. And I imagine some of these pieces, they're cast really well. And um, there's no defects whatsoever. There's not even really many mold lines. You can see on this one, if it focuses in properly, there's a bit of a mold line. But generally, even these ones, um, you can see the mold lines faded. Like it's faded in. It's sort of uh, not a problem at all. In terms of quality, it's right up there. Um, I mean, Forge World has problems and fine cast was a nightmare, obviously. But in terms of the casting quality, uh, it is right up there with Forge World stuff. So, my favourite two now, we've got Cyclone Missile Launchers. So, we'll just open these bad boys up. So, there you go. Cool. Cyclone Missile Launchers. So, I'm just going to nip on my computer and... Uh, I'll find out what these are called for you. I probably saw my tattoos there actually. Anyway, so it's like cyclone missile launchers. And uh really, really cool. Like we've got these uh like angular corners, which fits really really well. So these would be perfect for cyclone missile launchers or havoc launchers for either a uh the Contempt of Dreadnought from Forge World, or for the Tyrant Siege Terminators, or any, anything like that, really, like anything that you could use in Cyclone Missile Launchers for Space Marine Terminators, for example. Um, they're not really big enough to make like a whirlwind out of, but there you go. So these are called Blizzard Missile Launchers. Uh, Space Knights in heavy, they're for Space Knight in heavy armors, it says. <laughs> um, but really, really cool. And again, these are four euros, right? So that's like three quid, which is super cheap. And it's the cheapest way you can possibly get them. Uh, and like I said, these came from Poland. It only took a few days to get it. So really, really good. Pleased with them. Uh, and then possibly my favourite ones is these jump packs. So I'm just having a quick look on the website because they've got a few different types. So they sent me these ones, which is um, like a Mark IV equivalent. And they've got their own name. So I'll have a little check online. They're all the same in a pack of five. So I'll show you these. Really cool. So perfect for 40k for assault marines or whatever for the 30k equivalent. And they sell, so they sell a few different types. So they've got one called a flying engine, which is like nerglified, which is cool. But these ones, um, really smooth, really good. The paint job on the one they've got online is excellent as well. <laughs> Like, really, really good. Um, the person that's done them has done a badass job. So, I'm just trying to find them on the website. I'll show you the look all the way around. Really cool, right? So, they sell Space Knights Jump Packs version 1, version 2, which is like a Mark IV jump pack, which is the one you get in the Zangrin Regard kit, which is cool. Um, I'm trying to find these ones are Space Wolves Knight Jump Packs. Are they? No, <laughs> no, they're not. They also sell a uh, Space Wolves Jump Pack, which is really cool. It's got like it's this exact one, but it's got a wolf pelt on it. Um, and then they also sell the pelts separately as well, which is cool. So you can get them for conversion pieces and things. Uh, right, so just Space Knights Jump Packs version one, and you get five jump packs for eight euros. So I'm not sure what eight euros would be in uh, in pounds at this point, but say six quid. Pound a jump pack. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, cast really well. Like I said, it's uh, ooh, a lightweight resin, similar to Forge World, but probably a bit more durable, a bit less brittle. Uh, but in terms of the casting quality on them, there's no mold lines whatsoever. So you can see all the way across um, each each one of these curved surfaces. Of course, if there's a mold line like, running down the center. It's really, really difficult to get rid of it, and so it's not like that. Um, and these ones, the only only slight issue is that these casting blocks have come right into the underneath of the jetpack. But I suppose when you're looking at the miniature, if you, if you do damage them or you do you struggle to um, completely remove all the flash, like as clean as possible underneath there, it is going to be hidden from view because it's going to be stuck like you know at this sort of an angle from the table, um, just coming off the back of the miniature. So really cool, and it's like intelligently done. But in terms of en any of these ones, there's no casting errors whatsoever. They're all completely flawless. Um, I'm just checking to make sure before I actually say that. 
But yeah, just nothing, nothing whatsoever. Like the Forge World ones seem to be casting like it's like they've done like an Easter egg sometimes, you know what I mean? So like cast in half and sometimes they slip. So you get like a line all the way across that you can't do anything about. But these these are awesome. Eight euros, I think it's about six, seven, seven pounds say. Um and they're yeah, absolutely perfect. And they sell different types. Like I said, there's these ones, um the Space Knights Space Wolves jump pack or wolf knight or something. It's basically space wolves, they call it something different. Uh, but Wolf Knights jump packs, um, they're exactly the same, but they've got like wolf pelts and stuff like that, and little uh, gems and things like that, which is really cool. So, all together, super impressed um, with everything that they sent. I've got, I mean, these are just amazing, it's just perfect. It's, it's absolutely perfect for what you want, and they're going to fit the Forge World miniatures absolutely perfectly, or the uh, Contemptor Dreadnought. So it's not a Cyclone Missile Launcher, it's called a Havoc Launcher, I think, on the Contempt of Dreadnought, but that is just absolutely perfect for it. Um, and two of them are like four euros, which is crazy. A terrain, really, really good. Modular as well, and then when they fit together, all the wooden planks line up, which is exactly what you want. Legionary head pieces, again, I'm trying to find what they're called. Little uh, plumed bits. Uh, let's have a quick look. And I'll... Uh, I'll have a little look when I can. Uh, anyway, they're really cool. So, ten of them in a pack, which is really good. And I'm just trying to find the prices, basically, so I can uh, I can just make sure before I say anything that's going to turn out to be wrong. <laughs> so that's the terrain piece again. We've got are these called changed knight torsos? Let's have a quick, okay, let's have a quick check on them. They're really cool, like perfect for zinc, basically. And little conversion bits. Now, obviously, they, they can't mention that it's for zinc. And if you remember, a company called Chapter House previously, they got into a load of lawsuits with Games Workshop because they were trying to say that like these are compatible with Space Marines, and Games Workshop hated it. So, even though I understand, because because I do, I, I get it. Um, like you know exactly what they're using them for, do you know what I mean? Like you know you know exactly what we're doing with them. And it, it pretty much is like that. Like it's just one of them situations, like you know what's going on. Uh, we got the Change Knights legs. Really cool. And again, a few different variants of the same ones. Really, really cheap. Uh let's have a look now. Changed Legions. Uh, and they sell heads for these as well. Which would be really cool, like uh, Change Knights helmets, which are eight euros for ten, and they're really really cool. Like they're all they're all cool. Like don't get me wrong, Change Knights torso, so ten torsos for eight euros. Uh, the Change Knight legs, which is eight euros for six sets of legs, which are cool. Uh, and then the Pleasure Legions, they're called these ones, the Slanesh heads, basically. And there's ten of them, and I imagine they'll be eight euros as well. Yeah, eight euros. So if it's say six fifty, something like that, seven quid maybe for ten of them. Seventy pence head, which is cheaper than you can buy them. Um, the only slight downside to some of these conversion bits, other than the fact that they're mostly posted from um, Poland, I believe. Um, they do have a YouTube. Uh, I've got an eBay page, and, and like other people, like uh, probably Element Games and Troll Trader on eBay will stock some of their stuff. Um, but by and large, if they're coming from Poland, um, you will wait a few days to get them in the post, or you'll pay a little bit more than you would do from the UK, obviously, to have them posted. So, not a problem, but it is worth mentioning. You know, like if you get something first class and it comes the next day within the UK, that sort of thing. Uh, and so, that is something to, to bear in mind. But other than that, the only other thing, uh, and these are the Nurgle ones, obviously, these, these are really, really, really good. Like, perfect for conversion stuff. Look at that. So again, eight euros for ten heads. Uh, the only thing is, in some competitions and in some painting competitions and in some like uh, tournaments and things like that, you obviously you're not allowed to use anything other than Games Workshop bits. So that's the only thing. Some people have no problems whatsoever using them, then just for their own personal stuff and for commission work and stuff. I'll always always recommend some of the uh, third party bits manufacturers. The price is you know the the quality. If I'm honest, the price and the quality, um, amazing. But like I said, in some competitions and in some uh, painting competitions in particular, you have to use 100% Games Workshop bits. So again, I completely understand and uh, it makes a lot of sense that they would do that bit. Um, that's the only thing you've got to bear in mind. And other than that, there's a load of different stuff. So you can check them out at spellcrow.com. 
uh, discover the fantastic world of Spellcrow miniatures and bits. They also do their own game called Umbra Tourists, which you can find, and they've got all sorts, all, just all sorts of different stuff on there. So check them out. It's mostly 40k conversion pieces, but there's all sorts of different stuff. They sell like magnets and dice and um, bases and scenery and stuff like that, and then counters for 40k as well, which is cool. So check them out on there, Spellcrow.com, uh, and that's your lot. So as always, cheers for watching.